major design consideration that engineers face with glass is it's brittle. It can fail and fracture with very little notice spontaneously. What that means for engineers is stress risers in glass become much more important than it does in steel design, for example. In steel design, the stress can spread out. In glass, once you have a stress riser over your limit, it can fracture. One way to remedy this is by spreading out the fittings. Uh, typically, architects don't particularly like this. Uh, they like nice, tight, small fittings down at the base of the railing. However, this is one way to remedy it. Another way is by increasing the thickness of the glass. Another design consideration that can cause stress risers in your glass is sharp corners. Um, the way to remedy sharp corners is by rounding those off in one way or another. Um, or again, increasing the thickness of the glass. What do we get these stress concentrations from are our loads. The two loads we have to consider with railings are 50 pounds per foot um, pedestrian load. This takes into account people leaning along the glass or pressing against it in a daily use. Um, and then a 200 pound concentrated load. This accounts for someone running into or falling into the glass. Now, typically the 50 pounds per foot load will control um, and cause the stress risers that I was previously describing if we have a rail cap. That rail cap can spread out the load in between lights um, and the 200 pound load becomes less of an issue. However, if we don't have a rail cap or a really important spot to look for is at the top of stairs where there's no, where the lights are discontinued, anywhere we aren't able to tie a rail cap into a, a light directly next to it we have a situation where that 200 pound load is acting at a corner and it magnifies the stress risers that I explained earlier.